Wow. It's kind of tiny, right? I'm Bob Boylan with NPR Music, and uh, all things tiny, I guess, is who I am. Um, I'm at a door at a house in the middle of uh, Washington, D.C., on Rhode Island Avenue, uh, around Rhode Island and 10th Street Northwest, uh, in a beautiful garden, a place called Old City Farm and Guild. Uh, you can buy beautiful plants here, and, uh, and the birds are here. You don't feel like you're in the city. It's a really special place. But in this place, somebody lives in this absolutely tiny house, and we have a a nice surprise for you, uh, and we have a surprise for them. Hello. Hello there. I'm Bob Boylan. Hello. Good to see you. And you must be Jay Austin. Yes. Hello, Mr. Jay Austin. This Hello. is your house. Yes, it is. You live here, right in the middle of the city. What inspired you to build and live in something so small but looks so incredibly efficient? Well, I think that was a big part of it, wanting something that was very efficient. Uh, it's it's small, but it feels very simple and not, not too terribly crowded. I wanted something that would be uh, fun to build, that would be fun to live in. Uh, so it's fully self-sustaining. It runs off of uh, solar power and off of rainwater catchment. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a nice, uh, nice, cozy little spot. So the rain that's about to hit is going to be what? It'll drain and... Yeah, we've been getting a lot of rain, so I think my tanks are probably just about full. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what uh, powers the sink and the shower. And uh, well, the sink at least is uh, part of a kitchen. You can cook meals. Yep. Yeah, there are two induction burners, uh, so I can run run two two stoves at once, and those run off of the solar as well. Uh, there's a deep chest freezer to uh, freeze freeze things, and a little bit of area for seating as well. And I yeah. actually saw that you uh, in the corner there have an air conditioner. And there and must be a bathroom back there someplace? Yep. Uh, yeah. Shower? Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a wet bath. So the shower and the toilet are very uh, close together. It's a little bit cramped, but uh, there's enough room for, for both. And, and up there, you can probably uh, see that there is a, uh, um, a bed, and you can sit in your bed. And it's a really cool space. Thank you. Yeah, nice yeah. work. And we have a surprise. One of the reasons we came to your... Tiny House J is because uh, we want to have a little tiny house concert. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have brought two incredibly talented musicians here today. Um, you may know them from a Tiny Desk concert a while back. The beautiful, beautiful voice of uh, Tom Brousseau, the amazing voice and guitar playing, and Tom's guitar playing is pretty damn good too, of uh, <laughs> Sean Watkins here. You might know Sean from Nickel Creek. They're both veterans of Tiny Desks. Uh, they're in town. Uh, and we, uh, we plopped them in the middle of this house. And we're going to do uh, three songs for you here. And, uh, and this is pretty nice, right? Could you imagine living here? Oh, yes, yeah. I could, yeah. And uh, I'm going to get one of Get one of these as soon as this concert is that started. True? Well, yeah, I think so, yeah. See if Jay can build you one. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, what do you want to do? We want to start off with a song from New Record? That sounds good. Um, this is a song entitled No Matter Where I Roam from a record Sean and I recorded, entitled North Dakota Impressions. <laughs> something that reminds me of home I don't know why it is but it's true right now I long to taste the sugar from the sugar beet Sit on the gravel crossroads and listen to the waves of wind. She still lives there. Does she think of me? Does she even care? I know I still do. I know I. Gal, take 
break your heart in just one time I've never known a symphony so sublime The family that once loved and protected me A side by side in the gateway cemetery then the body must die for the soul to continue. Little hand spade, come take away anything taking a hold. Your plastic arrangements, you surely keep your colors through the cold. clippings on the sidewalk around the Silver Lake Reservoir in the way that even the tiniest bit of fluorescent can break through whatever it is I'm connected to it brings me hope and it makes me smile it seems to say if you can make it through this You're gonna make it all the while Everybody out there, thank you very much for tuning in today. And um, we're going to go into a next song that is going to require a bit of a pick change for me. I'm going to switch to a tougher pick here. Once again, I'm Tom Brusso. This is Sean Watkins. And um, this song we're going to play for you is track number two off my new record that Sean and I recorded together. I hope you will all enjoy Fit to be Tied. Never made 
leave it out to you Well that's just the way you wanted it Ain't that just the way the story goes From my connection, a solemn anchor cast to sea. I ain't fit to be tied. I keep drifting down without security. I ain't fit to be tied. I keep drifting down without security. And my Um, I'm going to end with um, a song here. Uh, I'll kind of play along with it. Um, this is entitled, um, The Horses Will Not Ride, The Gospel Won't Be Spoken. There's a little church on the outskirts of Grand Forks, North Dakota, and the town um, near uh, Northwood, a beautiful church. If you ever find yourself meandering through um, the prairie land, um, maybe check out West Union. You'll really love that church, a beautiful little church. Something from a great painting. Last Saturday night there was a fire And the old white church was taken Up on the hill where it was built In 1897 as a child, I always ran down one hall to another. Me and my friends stole offerings and candles from the cupboard. A stable where the horses slept tied up to each other the ones that made it had to break away their reins of leather a graveyard lies along the side where we lay our loved ones they had no choice and sadly watched and rolled around in their coffins. Oh, I awoke in my best clothes on the morning after to go and watch the horses, Lord grazing in the pasture but the only thing that had remained besides the old foundation was an alabaster stepping stone for the carriage's patrons I wiped my eyes with my tie and looked up to the skyline coming through now and then 
was a little bit of sunshine. Oh, I'm guilty now, and I don't know why. My heart is kind of broken. The horses will not ride again. And the gospel won't be spoken. That's beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Bob, for having us. And thanks for welcoming us into your beautiful home.